Welcome back to Reena's YouTube channel. This is the part two of the HTML tutorial series. In this, this tutorial, we will be discussing on how we can insert an image, use different kinds of attributes, and then how we are gonna use uh, the have attribute in the HTML document. In order to begin with, let us start by inserting an image. As you can see, I have already downloaded a few images from the internet in this folder. In order to insert these images in my HTML document, I will be using the img tag. img tag is a tag that is used to do is used to insert images into the web page. In order to use this img tag, we need to find the source of the image. If you are using Visual Studio Code, finding the source of this image is very easy. All you need to do is that you have to right click on the image and then click on the copy relative path option here. After copying the relative path here, all you need to do is that you need to type in the URL inside an attribute. Now before that, let's discuss what are attributes. Attributes are basically designs or something that modifies the actual tag. For example, style, ref, width, height are basic attributes that are used every day in our HTML documents. For example, in order to insert a HTML attribute of SRC inside an image tag, we need to write the image tag first. This is how our image tag is written. It's IMG space and SRC is the attribute here. Note that there's every attribute in uh, Visual Studio Code will be in red color. After specifying SRC, you need to specify a value to that attribute. In this case, the a source of the uh, a source attribute is of the image is the path of the image. So after putting these double quotes, we have to press Ctrl B or the uh, or the path that we have to. Look. In some cases, this related path may not work. So uh, in that cases, we can use the complete path. Let me see this. Uh, let's do the complete path in this option. Now after doing that, replace the related path with complete path. After doing this. Close the path. Now, after saving this, let us go to our web page. Let us now refresh this. As you can see, an image has been loaded, but the style is very, very big. So, in order to reduce the size, let us use another attribute called the style attribute. In the style is a part of the CSS. We will be discussing more on CSS in the upcoming episodes. But now, let us just concentrate on the basic style elements. After specifying the style attribute, you are going to use equal to and specify a different value here. In style attribute, you are going to specify width, colon. Inside the uh, style attribute, you are going to have to specify the width. You can just uh, specify 100% You can also use pixels. But, after, but also note that it is not recommended to specify width and height at the same time. Because in, in case you do that, this image might become black or stretch. Therefore, we will only specify the width. After going to this, we can uh, refresh the page. Now you can see that the size has been shrunk. But if you choose height 100%, it's going to cover the entire page. So that's why I have chosen width 100%. Now the image looks very good. After the adding this image, let us add another image for uh, for pandas. I by mistakenly uh, added pandas image in the rabbit section. Let us replace it with rabbit dot w e b p. Also, there are various extensions for uh, image tags. Uh, there are various ex uh, extensions for images. For example, dot png, dot jpg, dot jpeg, and dot w e b p. You can learn more about these ex uh, extensions in the internet. Actually, now what we are going to do is that we are going to refresh this and we are going to see a cute rabbit photo in the place of the rabbit. Now we are going to copy the same thing and use it on our panda section but we are going to just change the path to panda. Also note that we are using two different extensions here. The panda is on jpg and the rabbit is on .web. Actually, we are going to change this to jpg. Usage of wrong format will not work. Now you can see that a panda image has been loaded in our screen. The next option we need to do is that we need to specify the alt attribute. The alt is actually a very important attribute in an image. It shows the alternative text in case the browser does not load the particular image. 
This may happen if the user has a slow internet connection or if he is using a text based mouse. Or it may be a blind surfer for whom the uh, uh, the uh, image will be read aloud. The art option will be read aloud so that he knows what the image actually is. So therefore, it is always recommended to use the art attribute. In order to use the art attribute, we can use the art is rabbit image. We can copy the art and paste it over here. But here you can change it to pandas. But also note that the alt attribute should always be relevant to the image. Therefore, it can be useful for many people, like people who use a text-based browser, or blind surfers who, for whom the browser is programmed in such a way that it will read aloud the alternative text. After doing all this, let us now check another very cool feature in HTML called linking. This linking has two types, external linking and internal linking. In this example, we will be focusing more on the external linking. External linking refers to linking to a web page or to uh, linking a web page to different parts. For example, I have a web page, I, I can link it to Google. But if I have a, a part inside the web page, I, and if I link that, it's called internal linking. So now let us create another web, two more web pages, so that we can link that to the index page. So I'll name this pandas.html. The next one I will be named as rabbits.htm. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a ref tag. A ref is a tag used for link. You can use it in between any text tags. For example, a ref is equal to copy the, uh, copy the uh, relate, relate to or complete path. Paste it over here. Close it. And close the A tag over here. After doing this, copy the same thing and do it to pandas. But just change it to panda. Pandas. The HTML. And now let's close this. Now let us see what the output actually is. Before that, let's just add some content over here. These are just basic tags that we are already used. If you're not familiar with these tags, I suggest that you go back to the episode one to learn about all these tags. The next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna add some random content. For example, let's just say pandas pandas live in jungle. Pandas are very cute. Pandas like bamboos. The next thing we are gonna do is that we are gonna save this document and go and we are gonna go to this place. After going here, we'll refresh it, and as you can see that the rabbits have turned the title has turned to blue color. Here the pandas have been turned to blue color. Since we have only written the code for pandas, we will click on pandas. And now you can see that the, uh, it takes us to another web page. This is called as link. But since we are uh, we have used it in this manner, the uh, the links color doesn't look good we will be discussing about these css in the upcoming videos the next thing we are going to do is that we will be creating the exact same document for rabbits you can add more content to this to make it look like a board page in this we'll just change it to rabbits we'll change this we'll make it rabbits Rabbits are very good. Rabbits like cats. You can make various other points about various other animals in this web page. After that, if we refresh this, we can click on rabbits and it takes us to somewhere similar to this. In order to make it more beautiful, we need to have to do many other things like adding different CSS, but they will be discussed in the next video. But now 
example, if you want to make this tag as a href attribute, how do you do it? You may ask, but in order to do it, you just need to replace this a and place it after the image. If you do this, it will the image will become a link too. Now let us refresh and test it out. Now look, if I click on the uh, if we click on the image, if we click on this image, it should take us there. Oh yeah, we have already closed the A8 attribute over here. Now if you refresh it, it should work. Yeah. Okay. You know if you press the image, it takes us to another image. We can do the same thing with uh, with uh, pandas. So let's click on pandas and it takes us to the same page. This is how linking works in HTML5. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. And we will see you in the next one.